Hi, I'm Chip Osborne. You know, there's a growing interest today in natural lawn care. Consumers concerned about chemical exposures are asking for non-toxic programs. And all across the country, professional landscapers like you are adding these programs into their existing businesses. You know, it's really not that hard. There's just a few basic things that you need to know. Today, I'm going to give you some of these ideas and hopefully show you how we can grow your business. Come on, let's go. Well, the first thing that we want to talk about is the soil. It really is all in the soil. When you realize that every handful of soil contains millions of beneficial microorganisms, we're halfway towards our goal of learning about organic lawn care. The beneficial organisms that Mother Nature has put in the soil are there for the sole purpose of providing us the proper soil environment to grow things. In our case, we want to grow turf grass. So it's up to us as land care professionals to maximize and enhance that soil system so that we can achieve the parameters that we're after. And the first thing that we need to do is to take a soil test. None of us would take prescription medicine without first being prescribed by a doctor. So why then should we as land care professionals apply an amendment to the turf or to the soil without knowing exactly what's required? The soil test will tell us that exact information. All of the vitals of the soil profile will be established and then we will amend as necessary. Once we receive the results of our soil test, we then begin to approach the area and decide what amendments we may need to use. Some of those used in a natural organic land care program might include the use of lime, compost, top dress, anywhere between a quarter and a half an inch, the application of a compost tea to improve the beneficial microbiology in the soil, or a kelp or a seaweed-based extract to help the lawn in transition from a chemically maintained lawn to a natural lawn. Now a quick word about organic fertilizers. A natural organic fertilizer is water insoluble, meaning that moisture has no effect on its breakdown, but it's the soil microbiology that breaks down the fertilizer. There are many natural organic fertilizers on the market, all made with natural products that could be compost, that could be manure, rock powders, dusts, and green sand. One of the tools that we have in our arsenal for weed control is a material called corn gluten. Corn gluten works early in the spring on a pre-emergent basis. It's very similar in action to some of the controls that you may use now. A byproduct of the application of corn gluten is also an 11% charge of nitrogen, so we take that into account when used with a natural organic fertilizer. Now let's talk a little bit about mowing. As you can see, we have a little bit higher blade height here than many of you are used to. There's a couple of reasons why we consider a higher cut. Most of you probably cut somewhere between an inch and three quarter and two or two and a half inches. But now we need to change our thought process and raise our blades so that we cut somewhere in the three or three and a half inch range. And there are specific reasons for this. One is that the taller blade length simply shades the sunlight from the soil surface, thereby prohibiting seeds from germinating. As we all know, weed seeds need light to germinate, and the sun will not reach the soil surface when we have a three and a half inch blade height. Another reason for keeping the blade length long is that we have a greater blade surface exposed to the sun for photosynthesis thereby growing a stronger plant with a deep and probing root system. And that's really what it's all about, a deep, strong root system that adds strength to the plant and also gives us a degree of drought tolerance. One thing to always keep in mind too is that we need to have sharp mower blades. A dull blade can rip and tear the blade surface, thereby leaving open wounds as prime sites for infection. Now let's talk a little bit about irrigation. This is possibly one of the most important aspects of natural organic lawn care 
because too much water or too frequent irrigation very often can lead us down the path of potential turf diseases. A good organically maintained lawn will need no more than two inches of water a week. Very often we can get by on one inch. We like to apply the water so that it travels deep down into the soil profile. An organically maintained turf with a deep probing root system requires very little in the way of water as an input from us and can survive very nicely for the most part on what Mother Nature provides and in periods of drought or stress then we need to pick up and add our own. Lawn disease is another problem that faces us as lawn care professionals and something that we have to deal with from time to time. Again, going back to the soil biology, and it really is all about the soil biology, that biology is made up of beneficial fungi, beneficial nematodes, beneficial protozoa, and bacteria. Much of this beneficial fungi that is existing in our naturally organic soil profile will outcompete pathogens that is, the disease organisms that you know as problems in the lawn, and therefore those diseases never really get a chance to take hold and are taken care of before they ever get to be a problem. Now let's talk a little bit about insect control in a natural organic lawn program. Insects really aren't that much of a problem because as we talked about a little bit earlier, we have this soil biology that we're addressing. There are many natural predators of most insects already established in the soil profile. If we use a chemical or other toxins, we may compromise these beneficials and no longer have them working for us, thereby being dependent upon chemical controls. Once we have addressed this soil biology, used a compost top dress, and have a soil life teeming with a beneficial population, insect problems never really do get out of control. When we talk about maintaining an athletic field at the municipal level organically, we see many of the same similarities that we do at the homeowner's level, but we have one very, very big difference, and that's the fact that, generally speaking, municipal properties and athletic fields are under constant heavy use. When you stop and think that on a Saturday morning you could have 500 children, that's at 1,000 feet, tromping down that land and making it increasingly compacted. Compaction is turf grass's number one enemy, so it's our job at the municipal level if we want to maintain good athletic fields to continually relieve that compaction. We use a natural organic fertilizer. We do a compost top dress, heavily and vigorous overseeding, anywhere between three and a half and four pounds per thousand square feet, and then either a core or a slice aeration several times during the growing season. When we combine all of these things around a predetermined program, then we're able to grow good, healthy grass. It really makes a lot of sense to consider adding an organic lawn care program to your existing business. It makes good sense for you and good sense for your customer and it really is easier than you think. Back, uh, I guess I would say probably around 10 years ago, nine, 10 years ago, um, we were using a lot of pesticides, fungicide, and uh, I was just spending a lot of money, and I wasn't getting really any, any different results than what I was, when we were doing prior to that. In the 70s, we weren't using nothing. We started using some more organic stuff. In some places we just stopped and using chemical and just regular fertilizer. And I seen just the results were just as good or in some places even better than the one that's where I was using a chemical. But you gotta tell the people that, you know, they're not gonna have a perfect, perfect lawn, but they can have a good looking lawn and sometimes even a perfect lawn depending on how, how much you want to, you know, put into it. I've got hundreds upon hundreds of lawns. I'm doing about eighteen hundred customers right now. The organic lawns always beat out the chemical lawns. The, the few remaining chemical 
customers I have, which is less than a couple hundred, they'll probably phase themselves out within another year or two. Because I'm finding I have long-term customers. Most of these customers with me 15, 18 years or better. I'm signing up the sons and daughters now of these customers. These lawns stay perfect. Yeah, they cost me initially in the beginning, but guess what? My profitability now is high as years go by because I don't have the callbacks. When we first started our uh, maintenance uh, uh, landscape business, we were all chemical, everyone was. And then gradually we began to experiment with uh, non-toxic product, and we found that we're getting much better reaction from the non-toxic products. In addition to that, if we have a customer who has children, we will not use chemicals on the lawn. I think the future for the organic industry is, is uh, great because of the new seed varieties that are being developed. Um, they have disease-resistant varieties. They're dusted with endophytes, which help to repel the insect uh, population. And they contain uh, chewing fescues, which grow outward to help choke out the weed population. And they also develop a very deep root growth. Contrary to popular belief, a transition from a chemically maintained lawn to a natural program does not need to take two, three, or four years. But if all other things are equal and the lawn is in good shape, that transition can very often happen in one season. As a land care professional, many of you probably already know that some of the substances that are used in our industry are pretty toxic and have some degree of danger associated with them. And it seems to me it only makes sense for your safety as well as the health and safety of your clients to begin to embrace the idea of natural organic lawn care. So there you have it, a beautiful lawn without the use of toxic chemicals, a healthy place for your customers and a healthy place for you too. You know, this really is the future of our industry and you can be part of that future. I hope I've helped you understand a little bit about natural lawn care and it really is a great way to grow your business.